Many women say that they can't have an orgasm with a partner in bed during sexual intercourse, or at least they need some kind of outside stimulus, but even then it's quite difficult. While also those same women can almost assuredly come to orgasm by themselves, at least a large percentage of them. Some people still can't, but overwhelmingly yes. What's the difference there? Is it about their technique and versus yours? No, it's that in those moments, she is truly comfortable and present. She is relaxed. Relaxed, she is enjoying herself, she is there without judgment, and she's not in her head but rather in her body and really connecting to those feelings. So what I want to talk about today is what you need to do to have sex with a woman for the first time is not to master your technique, but rather to create a space where she's deeply comfortable, which then paves the way for deeper arousal. And I'm going to give you three key ideas on how to make that happen. So first, I want you to consciously relax her, okay? Because if you can help her kind of lower her heart rate, get into her body, get out of her head, then again, she's going to experience so much stronger feelings. So you can start by reinforcing your feelings for her. You could tell her like, oh, you look so incredible right now, or oh, I wanna run my hands all over your body and kind of show her that she looks beautiful, irresistible, like, oh my God, you look amazing. Or seriously, I can't barely hold myself together right now. And you are indicating that I I find you attractive, that I find you desirable, I want you, which again puts her at ease if she's in her head like, oh my god, do I look pretty? Do I look beautiful? If I'm in this position, do I look fat? Do my stretch marks show? Really men don't understand. They think that a woman is like this super confident person those first moments expecting you to perform, when in reality a lot of the times they're just as nervous in their head and often about do they seem desirable or attractive enough to you. So reinforcing that you do find her attractive and desirable helps her relax. Additionally, you can give her a kind of guided meditation experience where you actually tell her to relax different parts of her body, slow down her breath, close her eyes and lay back and just enjoy being with you, that you want to make her feel amazing all over and kind of just reinforcing that she lay back, enjoy herself, calm her heart rate, take gentle breaths and kind of guide her through that experience of easing tension and just enjoying the moment. Okay, number two, I want you to take your time turning her on. Most men think foreplay is literally just about the actual moments where you're about to penetrate her and like you're going down on her or you're like touching her down there. But foreplay begins so much earlier for women. It's kind of the dance beforehand where you're looking at each other, you're exploring each other's bodies, you're talking a little bit, you're stroking each other all over, and everything that leads up to more intimate levels of touching. In fact, when you look at studies and you ask women how often they want foreplay or the sexual experience to be, those numbers can be between like 20 or 30 minutes, while most men are like, five minutes, right? They're turned on, they're ready to go, they wanna have sex. But if you take your time to allow for that comfort to settle in and allow her to start to feel more arousal, then everything's going to get better. She's going to be more ready down there, she is going to be fully excited, and that desire is gonna build in her to the point where she's like, I need to do this right now or I'm gonna go crazy. So how do you do that? I want you to think about all the different parts of her body you could touch. Her neck, her ears, her back, her shoulders, her her chest, her stomach, her legs, and obviously the more personal parts. And what I want you to do is as you guys are sitting there and kissing and maybe starting to get a little physical on your couch, if you don't know how to do that, watch my previous video of how to kiss a girl on a date. That'll help you break that kiss barrier so that you're actually at the point where you can do this. So you're on the couch, let's say, and maybe you start to kiss a little bit and you pull back. And then you're laying with her and you pull her into your shoulder. And then you're stroking her hair while you talk. And then you go to kiss her neck a little bit and then you lean back and you're gently massaging her shoulders and then she's interlacing her fingertips within yours then you lay her back and and maybe you start kissing her chest and her collarbone then you go back up to kissing her lips a little bit and kissing her neck then maybe you gently lift up her shirt a little bit so her like stomach is showing and you put your hands on there and then maybe you kiss it a little bit you run your hands down her legs and her thighs and you unbutton her pants a little so that a little bit of her underwear showing and you kiss on her waistline and you kind of do that where you go through the different Different parts of her body gently touching her, stroking her, kissing her, and taking your time so that she's feeling all these sensations, not feeling rushed, not feeling like, oh my god, this is going to go too quick, and really allowing her to get into her full level of arousal, which again, even for penetration, we know takes at least 10 minutes for women to be fully opened and wet enough to be able to do that. So you create that experience that allows that to naturally unfold. And three, I want you to build some trust. 
So as you're going through these stages where you guys are touching each other and exploring, I want you to reinforce once, especially if you get some hesitance from her, hey, I just want to make you feel amazing right now, or let me know if anything feels uncomfortable, or I promise, you know, I'm not going to take it further than you're ready. And what you're doing is you're letting her know that I want to do this together. I'm excited about this, but I'm not like going to just push you to do something you're not ready for either. I'm not just trying to get laid. I want to create this awesome experience that you feel you can step into. And just sharing those words, especially if she seems nervous or hesitant, can really help reinforce like, we're in this together. I can trust them. I don't have to keep my guard up as much. And if I am hitting a boundary or realize I'm not ready, I'm allowed to say that without fear that it's going to upset him or anything like that. And you do not go against your word. If you say those things and a woman really says, hey, can we stop? Or I'm not ready to go that far. Then you can chill back and you say, yeah, no problem. And maybe you guys go back to making out and touching intermittently when you guys are talking and you kind of don't cross that level unless she shows you that she's ready or she wants to at that point. It's so important to do that because if you don't and you go against your word, you are showing her that all that's bullshit. You do not care about her feelings. And yeah, could you get laid and push her to do it? Sure. But you're going to leave her with feeling like you don't actually care about her with regret. And generally, I almost always see when a guy does that, a woman does doesn't want to keep seeing that person. They're deeply hurt. They feel disgusted or regret. And basically you blew your chance to get laid once. There's a lot of advice out there that's like, you know, play it cold, show her that you're a little frustrated or pressure her. And that's just terrible. It is never going to set things off on the right foot and you don't need to. It comes from a place of desperation or selfishness where you're like, well, if she's not having sex with me right now, I need to like get mine. Or like, I'm afraid that if it doesn't happen now, it's not going to happen. But listen, if a woman likes you and she's allowing you to get this far and she's exploring it and she's just not ready, but you show her like, cool, like I was still confident in making these moves, but I'm also really chill with your boundaries, then you are showing her the best of both worlds. That you're a guy who is forward and assertive and knows what he wants, but is also really compassionate and conscious of other people. And that is deeply attractive. And she'll say in her head like, all right, I'm not ready right now, but this is really easy to hang with them. And like, I'll probably be ready next time. Or it leaves room for her to be like, you know what? Next time when I am ready, like I'm excited about this. So you don't need to feel like it needs to happen on that first time you guys try. Sometimes it won't, but if you handle it well and she says, hey, I'm not ready or could we just chill for a little while and you show her, yeah, like, yeah, no problem. Let's just hang out and you genuinely mean it and you continue to have a great time. She's going to be left with only positive experiences and positive reinforcement, which then excites her for more later. Remember, sex always has to be consensual, period. So to summarize, guys, I want you to one, relax her by reinforcing your feelings for her, your desire for her, and also kind of taking her through this experience of relaxing and guiding her through it. Two, I want you to show her you can take your time and explore each other and it can be fun and not rushed so that she has time to feel that arousal and step into herself. And three, I want you to build trust and reinforce that she has open communication with you so she feels like she can set her boundaries or not feel pressure to do something she doesn't want to which if you actually mean that will make her more likely to want to do something with you. I promise that. And for her to be excited about continuing to explore that and be more vulnerable for you. And that's where sex gets really good is when somebody feels like they can really be liberated around you, explore sexuality, talk openly. And that's where you guys get into some fun, crazy, wild, awesome, intimate type of experiences. And that's what we're trying to create here. So I hope this creates some beautiful sexual experiences for you and the women you're dating. And if you like this video, subscribe below. We got more coming for you. Hit that notification bell and please leave a comment below if this was helpful, if you want any clarity or have any discussions. I'm happy to share any other insight.